Welcome back to the Devworm channel and in today's video we are going to be making a working key for a door or chest or something like that. So we have a chest here but if we go up to the chest we can't open it. If we go and click the little key up here then we can open up the chest. This is super simple so let's get straight into it but if you could subscribe to help the channel it would be much appreciated and if you need any type of Godot tutorials then let me know in the comments down below and I will help you out. Okay so to start the tutorial I have a chest here which is just a static body with a area 2D, a collision shape around the chest for if you enter into the chest area or you exit the chest area just to know if you want to go open it or if you click like for example if you click enter when you're in this area the chest will open if you have the key if you don't have the key it won't open but if you're out here and you have the key well the chest still won't open but if you are in the area with the key then the chest will open an area 2d but i also have two sprites i have a open chest sprite which you can kind of see and i have a closed chest sprite so we'll just swap these back and forth just for an example but if you were to do like a key door then you want to emit a signal and once you go through the door and you have the key then you would emit the signal to change scenes and so like that i'm just doing this here with the opening and closing or visible sprites just to show you that it does work but we'll come back to the chest here first we want to go and make a new scene i'm going to create a static body which is this is going to be for our this is going to be for our uh our key so we'll make a static body 2D. I'll just name this key. And then we want to add a couple of items to it. So first we need a sprite. We also need a area 2D so we can detect if the player picks up the other key. And then a collision, a collision shape 2D. Just like so. Now Let's just make the key with this sprite and then I'm going to use the go dot icon, make it skinny and tall. So we have like a key, uh, we can make it, I guess we can make it yellow cause that's a key color and the collision shape. We can make a circle around it or something like this, I guess something like that. So if you're in that area, you will collect the key. I guess like that. That's fine. Now we want to create a key script. So key.gd create delete all of this. I, we, we might need a no, we won't use a ready function. We also want to. So let's see. We're going to want to start this. We're going to want to create a, a signal. So if we collect the key, then let's see. So we need a signal chest opened. Yeah, we will, I'll, we'll just make a signal. We'll call it chest open. We'll see what this goes to later, but I do, we do, we're going to need some type of signal. So we'll just name it chest open for when the chest opens. We're going to want a variable for key taken. So we know if the, the key has been picked up. So key taken is fine. And then we'll just start it to be equal to false. Because when we start the game, we're not going to be equal to anything we also need a variable for if we're inside the chest zone so in chest zone and when we start the world well we're not going to be in the chest zone so that can be equal to false now we're gonna have to check if this area 2d is entered so we will go to area 2d node body entered and then we'll connect this to the key script now we'll make sure this is a physics body 2d so we can make sure it's the player entering and then if key taken is equal to false then we want key take uh, key taken to equal to true and then we want to remove the key which up here we have sprite so we'll just do at sprite dot at sprite.q I don't know why it's okay we have some type of error up here there we go all right so yeah we'll just save the, the scene as well whoops okay that's what we want to do just like this so if this area is entered by the player then we're going to change key taken to true and then we're going to remove the key 
Yeah, and then we're gonna remove the key. I spelled this wrong, didn't I? There we go. Okay, so then we'll remove the key. Now, let's also make another function, which is gonna be our process function. Let's see, so if key is taken, so if we have already picked up the key, which means we have the key in our inventory. So if we have the key in our inventory, and then we want to make sure we're in the zone of the chest. So if we're in chest zone, so if we're in the chest zone, and then we want to also make sure we click the enter key. So we don't just go through it as soon as we enter the zone with the key. But if you do want to, as soon as you enter a zone without the key, then you don't want to put this little input here. But I'll show you. Okay, so just press UI accept. And then this is where you want to emit the signal. I'll also do a print chest open just so we know. Just to show it in the output. And then we can emit the signal that we just made, chest open. Because, well, chest has been opened if we click accept when we're in the zone and we have the key. Okay, so we're gonna wanna make sure we're in the chest zone. And to do this, we're gonna wanna go, we'll save, and then we wanna go back to the world. We want to add the key by clicking this chain. We want to instance a child scene and we will instance the key. We can move the key somewhere up here, it's fine. So if we're in this area, then we'll collect the key. Now, let's see, so we are going to want to go to open up this chest, okay, so. We want to send a signal from the area 2D. And this is going to be body entered. So if the body enters the chest zone, then we want to send a signal to the key. And same with if a body exits, we want to send a signal to the key. And then if we go into the key script, now we have two more functions for body entered and body exit. We want to make sure this is a, a physics physics body 2d and so here's what we're gonna want to happen so okay so if we enter if we enter the area then we want the in chest zone we want that to be equal to true and then we can we can print something so we can print we'll just we we'll just print in chest zone, just so we know. This is just so we can see. And then we can copy that, paste it down here. Because if we leave, then we want in chest zone to be equal to false. And that should be all. So now if we were to play, it's not gonna change the chest yet, but why is the key not visible? Why is the key not visible? Hold up. Okay, so I have no idea this what no idea why this was happening. So I put the I put the key way up here, right? I play it. Okay, now it wants to spawn. Now it wants to spawn. But I moved it over here, then it started spawning. But there was something weird. So I went into the key script, right? Because I didn't know what was happening. I, right here I put a like a print and it printed. So I as soon as I started the game it printed. So I don't know what was going on. I, I haven't changed the code since though. Haven't changed anything. It had to, I don't know why that was. Like it would automatically queue free it. I have no idea why. Like I have not, I legit have not touched a single bit of code. And now it works. Okay. That was weird. But look, so oh, here's what I was gonna show. So if we play, the chest is not gonna open, but if we click the key, well, we collect the key. And if we go to the chest, it says true that we're in the area. If we leave it, it says false. It's if it's true and we click the enter button, it's gonna say chest open. But if we go up to the chest without the key, well, we can't open the chest. It says true because we're in the area, but we can't open the chest. But if we also collect the key and we're not in the area, then we can't open the chest. So everything works. I'm just going to make it a little bit vis visual and add a chest script. And in the chest script, we can delete all of this. And then let's see. So in chest body entered. Hold up, hold up. So let's see. So we we want to uh, 
We'd want to go to the key script. Okay, why is the key in the... The key was in the chest. Was that why? Maybe not? Okay, no. Okay, we're good. The key was just in the chest for some reason. So, we want to go to the key. We want to signal chest opened. We want to... Let's see. Okay, so... First, we, we need that ready function. Let me... We'll make that ready function again. Ready... And then we want to get our... This is probably not going to apply to you because your game is probably going to have a door or something. And you're just going to want to send a signal to like transfer scenes or something. But if you're trying to open a chest, then I guess, I guess you can just copy what I'm doing now. But most likely you won't need this. So I don't know why I can't type. So on ready, it's just gonna have the chest closed. And then if we go to the key, we're going to want to signal chest opened and we're gonna wanna send this to the chest. So on chest opened, we want to take this and we want to just swap these here. Now, if we were to go and play, you can see we go up to the chest Chest doesn't open, can't open it. We go click the key, can't open it. If we're over here, can't open it. If we go up to the chest and it opens, just fine. And nothing happens if you click, keep clicking it. But yeah, I guess that is how you can, uh, you can make a working chest or a door. Now, this is a terrible example of what it's used for right here. But let's say you go click the key somewhere way in the other level, maybe in a different zone and you have to bring this key all the way back. Well, you basically have it here because you can go to any scene and you'll still have this key in the inventory. If, it, if you have it on the play or if you have an inventory scene. Now, it's obviously not in my inventory because I don't have an inventory built, but we, uh, we do have it here. So we can go anywhere on the map, can't use the key. If we go up close to the chest, then we can use the key, but you can use this for a door. So. If there's a hatch on here, hatch on this little ladder, we can go collect the key and we bring it down to this ladder and then we'd be able to open up the ladder and then it would let us transfer into a new scene. While if we didn't have the key, well, it would be impossible for us to go through this new scene. Now, I know this is very simple, but I'm going to start getting into some more advanced stuff here in the Godot tutorials in the next two to three weeks. So thank you guys so much for watching two new Godot videos or go to tutorials every week so let me know if you need any in the comments and i can help you out but if you can't subscribe it would really help out the channel be safe and i'll see you next time goodbye